at age 22, you know what every sound sounds like. So it, it, if you were born deaf, like every sound would be completely novel to you. And that's a fact. If you were born at age 22, again, again, again. you basically know every sound that is imaginable. If you think about it, 22 years of living, you know whatever, or, or you have the imagination to make up whatever sound would be possible. And then when you go deaf, you would probably forget that eventually. Because, like, 10 years of not knowing what sounds are would probably erase the memory you had of the sounds that you heard through you about when you're 30, ages 30, 0 30 through 20, 20, 20. Or are you talking at... Yeah, I say, say you go, say you go deaf at 22. At age 32, do you think you would remember you forget all Forget laughter? I don't think you forget laughter. Do you think you would forget Do you laughter? forget horn? I, what a horn, horn, horn sounds? No, you probably wouldn't forget what a horn was. Beep. Or, or would you? Or beep. No, it's not. Because all you would do if you were deaf would be read. And then every yeah, time you read, read so and every time much. a car was involved, it would remind you a beep. that a beep was the sound of a beep. I don't think you forget. The, the, so, the sound of beep would be a beep, and you'd, that would just remind you. And every time you read a book, which is yeah, all you would so ever be doing, your point? would remind you those so what's, what's your point, though? Books I have remind no you of idea. sounds? If you were deaf. The books and you were not born deaf. That's yeah. the ultimate point you're trying to make books are sounds. The ultimate. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the ultimate point that is that sick point. if that you read books point. and you weren't born deaf, you would be able to continue the thought of the sound of well, anything. No, well, that's why so you could so continue important. your senses even though you were deaf. Because you had been so used to them and you created them in your mind and you remember it. No, and what, what, what really better way than, than, to, that's than to bring into like fruition those sounds in your mind, like to try to. You and know, you could do that. You, you don't can, think you do that in your mind? You could easily do that in but your like, mind. That's why we so, laugh. We laugh in our so, head. So essentially, you weren't even deaf. Because Wait, this is imagine scary every, time, every time someone lifted up their leg and like this. You would just make up the With, fart sound in right, your mind, and you right would now. hear it. No, and you like, would laugh hysterically like, because it would right, be so funny. As like right now, like imagine you, if we were on the plane when we went on air in India, your head. and I and I stepped <laughs> on the Indian cushion. air immediately. They serve us alcohol. Came pulls out his pants and, and farts on the person in the back deaf, seat. And I stood up. I, I said, <laughs> "I'm gonna, I, dead, I'm gonna fart." And I stand up on the cushion and I fart, but you were deaf. You would still laugh hysterically. Yeah, you would yeah. fart, even though exactly. you would imagine in your mind. Is it you just the old. sound that makes a fart funny? No, that's the whole point. It's but the no, notion it's the action of the too, fart. But you're not blind. So like, ah, this chick farted on an airplane. What an asshole. <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> like, think about it. If you want to hear like a little Derek Chuck solo, slide. Yeah. You can just hear it. You can Derek Chuck Chuck's is like a bomb ass. You just hear it, you hear it in your head, you're like, how can I hear that? It's because of, you know, you've heard it before. Exactly, but I, 